Hey guys, what's going on? So following UFC 300 and my last video, I wanted to go ahead and take this a step further with the pound for pound rankings. And this time I actually wanted to create a point system to come up with my new top 10 pound for pound rankings. With this, I'm gonna use eight different categories. The first being if they're the current champion. For the majority of these, if they're the sitting champion, I'm gonna give them 10 points. And if they're any sort of interim champion, which I don't think is gonna be on this list, uh, that would be five points. And then for someone like Max Holloway with the BMF belt, I'm just gonna allocate three points. And just for simplicity here to kind of try this out, I'm gonna take the top 10 names right now on the UFC website and I'm gonna plug them into this numbering framework. It's possible those 11 through 15 guys might have been on this list, uh, but that's just what I'm gonna do to keep it simple. And they do a separate list for both men and women. So in this case, I'm just gonna be doing the men. So that's the first category. Next category, I'm gonna go with wins. I'm not gonna go with their full record because I really wanna focus on their recent activity but it's gonna be any wins that they've had in the last two years. I think that's a pretty good measurement in terms of length because most fighters really only fight every few months. Some might even fight just twice or even once every year. Uh, so I think that's about right. And for the wins in those last two years, I'm going to give them two points for every win that they got. Uh, and then the next category would be win type. If they got a knockout, I'm gonna give them an extra point. If they got a majority decision, I'm not gonna give them anything for that split decision, but if they did get a unanimous decision, I'm gonna give them an additional half a point for each one of those. And then same thing for the losses, any losses they've got in the past two years. And for those two years, I think maybe, for example, if you updated this list after every card, uh, it would go with the approximate date of that card. So for example, this would be April 13th, 2024. So April 13th, 2022 would be that cutoff. So any losses, I'm just gonna subtract one point. And then same thing for that loss type, minus one if they got knocked out. Submission, I'm also counting as a knockout, really just any sort of stoppage. So minus one point if they got stopped, and then just minus a half a point if they lost due to a unanimous decision. I'm also gonna give some points for title defenses. So I'm gonna give two points for each title defense that they had. And then the next category, I do wanna somewhat reward what they've done in the past. So I think in this category, I'm just gonna give them an additional four points if they have been the champion at any point in their career, not just within those two years. And then an additional category, if they've won a fight in these past two years at a different weight class. For example, this could be someone like Max Holloway who went up in weight and fought Justin Gaethje. This could be John Jones, for example, fought at light heavyweight before, now fought at heavyweight and got a win. They have to get a win for this bonus to count, so I'm gonna give an extra three points for that. So for example, just to give you an idea of how I'm using these calculations, I'm taking Islam, who's the number one pound for pound ranking. He currently is the champion, so I'm giving him 10 points first off. Has three wins in the past two years, so he'd get six points in that category. And in terms of win type, he has two stoppages and one decision in those three wins. So that would be 2.5 points. No losses, so none for those next two categories. He's had two title defenses, so that would put him at four points. Uh, hasn't been a past champion, hasn't won in a different weight class. Uh, so that would put his total score at 22.5. And just another side note here, not all wins are equal in terms of the opponent. So I think that's a little bit hard to measure. I mean, maybe you could assign different points for their wins depending on the previous rank of their opponent. For example, if they're the number one contender versus number two, you could maybe do a little bit of a weighing system there. Uh, but just for simplicity, that's how I'm doing it in this video. So then looking at this list, that would put Alex Volkanovsky at last place, Duplacy's with 
15. Max Holloway, Ilya Taporia with 18.5. Alexandre Pantoja and Bomali both tied at 19.5. In the future, maybe you could do a bonus category for that tiebreaker. Then we'd have John Jones at 4 at 20 points. Leon Edwards, third with 21.5. Islam, 22.5. And then Alex Pereira with 31. Uh, so I really think this is a step in the right direction. I think you could play around with this, assign different values for each of these categories. You could even add or subtract categories in there. So feel free to let me know if you guys have any recommendations for this point system. And I could have possibly made a little bit of a mistake in one of these calculations, just putting that out there in case I missed something. So really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later.